What a large guy. Thank you. Australian Historic Telephone Society has been going for 20 years. We established our uh, had our first exhibition in 1976 to commemorate the centenary of Bell's invention. And we have you know, something like 150 members, you know, mostly in Australia, but uh, some overseas as well. And the uh, membership is open to anyone who's interested in the, the subject of the history of collecting telephones. How have you found collecting telephone over the years? Obviously, you must have a good collection yourself. Yeah, it's quite an extensive collection. They were very easy to come by in the old days, and now they're very hard.
Rabbi by General Election History. Hundred years of telephone. Magnificent, magnificent. Anybody can make a good fist of it with a bit of patience. Patience really is the essence. Care and preparation. And anything can be restored as you'll see by this display here. We go from uh, the breaking down through the repairs, through the sanding, brush coating, and then finally the rubbing back with shellac on the uh, steel wool on the finished shellac, which gives you the matted off finish. And then we've got, uh, as well as that, the before. Uh, display here with the uh, damaged one that needs repairing through to one that's been restored completely including all the metal work recovered. How's it going guys? Anything functional here that rings? Well done, a lot of work. How many hours? Uh, 
no idea. We said it's been made over a period of time. We just don't know how long it's taken. All right. Well, <coughs> have, the, have you called anyone on it yet? Not as yet, but uh, we have from home, but not from here. Okay. Well done again, Reg. There's a bigger view. There you go. Not how's the go, food going? Uh, fairly quite a bit actually. Or is, this, is this any value for, you know? Yeah, it's just for memories, mate. Yeah, memories. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll do that. Okay, yeah. Finding a few bits and uh, selling a few. Yeah. Tell me, what was it like to go to um, England and, and come back with such treasures? Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Was it a different feeling to go there in, in the new, in UK? Yeah, yeah. Well, what was it like? Did you sort of have to feel the market? Is it a different market? Yeah, things are more expensive, but you get a lot better variety than you do in Australia. And it's hard work finding it. All right. Well, you've done well and you've got some nice pieces in your collection. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. How's the fans going good? good. Bernie, how's it going there? That's all right. There's got a fair amount of stuff here. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Haven't you got one of this before? Hey, yeah. Alan.
installation. Pretty nice phone, isn't it? Yeah. It's what, what era do you think it'll be? Well, Jeff says uh, 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 it's the case of stamp 1920, but he reckons the contents are 1890. And the top section now. So it was a valuable find for you? Oh, I hope so. so Looking forward to it, yes. Well, good luck with it in the future. Thank you very much. Okay. Spin around a little bit. Sorry, mate. Sorry. You're not wrong. <laughs> Hopefully it's well worth it. Maybe don't get a few grey hairs out of it. No, I got a few. <laughs> See you guys, enjoy yourselves. Ah! 